What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of Amazon's first four range of smartphones. This is the Fire Phone. Let's go ahead, dig in and see if it's gonna set the smartphone world ablaze. So here is the box for the Fire Phone, looking quite diminutive. Uh, we've got the 32 gig version. So some big things here about the phone, of course, Firefly lets it sort of do a little light show and it'll pick anything that you can find almost and gives you the option to buy it from Amazon. Of course, dynamic perspective uses four cameras, one in each corner, sort of make it look like the phone screen is moving and the images on it are moving. Supposedly kind of cool for looking at pictures or maps, but uh, let's go ahead and slide this right out of the box. You've got the Amazon logo embossed on top. We'll go ahead and cut that piece of tape and see what secrets lie inside. Boom, that was my dramatic tape cutting. I'm really excited to take a look at this um, device. I love the Kindles and hopefully this will uh, keep that awesome trend going. So here is the Fire Phone sitting right in the box, a little thicker uh, than I thought it was going to be. Push off the side for a quick second. Getting to know your Fire Phone, that in a different language. Uh, I believe that was Spanish. What other accessories we're going to have? They are a very exciting charge and seeking cable. It is micro USB, so pretty standard there. Uh, accessory wise, we are going to have a wall wart. Last but definitely not least, we've got a pair of headphones. You guys always say I never take a look at the headphones. Let's go ahead and do that real quickly. Uh, these are supposedly have all kinds of crazy non tangly things to them. Haha, -ha. they did not uh, tangle at all. And there's a little bit of magnetism in them so you can keep them together to make sure you don't lose them, and they do stick together. So there are those headphones, uh, inline mic built in with volume control. But that is all fine and good, but that is not the reason you are here. Uh, the reason is to check out this guy and its crazy dynamic perspective. Let's go ahead and peel off all the plastic here. Boom, turn on. Well, the back feels uh, and looks very similar to the uh, Nexus 4, sort of that glass uh, type back to it, and the phone Looks like a typical Android phone. Uh, it's got a bit of a longer profile and you can certainly see those four cameras. It looks, it looks unique. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and power this sucker on. I should mention this is also gonna come with a year of Prime. While it's powering on, I'll do a quick hardware tour uh, and then I'll walk you through everything that the phone has. On the left-hand side, you've got a volume rocker uh, up and down. I believe that is a, a dedicated camera and can also be used for a Firefly button. The power and lock button lives on top. You got speakers, 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Nothing on the right hand side. There's your charge and sync port and then dual speakers on the back. And there you've got your camera. It's a 13 megapixel uh, camera. On the front, in addition to the four cameras on the side, uh, you've got a 2.1 megapixel shooter up front. Uh, from a specs, looking at a 4.7 inch screen here at the 1280 by 720 screen. If you can do a quick math, that's a 312 PPI. In case you're wondering, it's an IPS LCD display. Uh, it's running a forked version of Android, but it's uh, Fire OS 3.5.0 at launch and pretty beastly processor uh, with a 2.2 gigahertz Snapdragon 800, which means it's got quad core. Uh, two gigs of RAM are inside of here. Uh, no external storage, but uh, you can get it in 32 or 64. Uh, 80211 AB GNN, Bluetooth 3.0, uh, no 4.0 here in the battery. It's a non removable 2400 milliamp hours, and it does have uh, NFC here as well. Uh, it'll be shipping to folks who ordered or want to pre order uh, on July 25th. It's going to cost you anywhere from zero to $650, depending on whether or not you get a contract uh, or buy a totally contract free. Uh, again, this is meant for AT&T. Let me go ahead and go through the whole setup process. We'll come right back in just a minute. So we've got the phone all booted up here and it looks nothing like the Android OS it's based on. It's a totally forked version. It's got its own app store and really is hardly even recognizable uh, as Android. So you've got your home screen here. You can swipe through and you can see all the different apps that you've got and access sort of different options for each of them. So here's some games, you can see uh, puzzles and all kinds of other stuff here. If you go to you know, Amazon Video, you can see what's available right there or jump right into the application. There we go. And you can see it's broken up into apps, web, game, video, music, books, and, uh, and the rest of that stuff right there. If you go into apps, you think you're gonna view your app store, but actually what you get is the app store. If you swipe again from the side, uh, you can go ahead and view my app and see what's going to come installed. Uh, and again, all the stuff that you would expect uh, is going to be here. Of course, you've got the Kindle, Amazon Music, a Shop Amazon is featured very prominently in Firefly, which I promise we will talk about uh, in a few moments. So go ahead and hit the physical home button down here and go back. We swipe from the other side. Uh, that's where you get sort of widgets and quick notifications uh, will show up right there as well. And if you swipe down from the top, 
You get sort of an Android-esque uh, way to quick view uh, settings and jump into brightness and that kind of stuff and also access Mayday, uh, which this has. And supposedly they say they can connect within about 15 to 20 seconds, so really fast. So as I move this phone, you might notice some things are happening. The icons are kind of moving. Look at the top right there. You don't know if we have a SIM card. I don't know what time it is, but if you move the phone a little bit, it shows up, which is crazy to see. Uh, but the best way I can show you dynamic perspective, I think, is to jump into maps. Let's go ahead and pick, I think I picked San Francisco here. Uh, and you can see this is sort of moving as I move the phone. I mean, it's crazy to see, and I don't know if it's gonna do justice uh, on camera, but as I move the phone, even as I move my head, uh, it is moving on screen. It's crazy to see, and as you move along, you know, it just keeps happening. You can sort of look almost like you'd see as a street if you were walking, if you tilt the phone or you want to see a bird's eye view. It's really kind of crazy uh, to actually see here. It's really the big selling point uh, of the phone. Uh, so it's going to take some getting used to, I think, but I, my first blush, it doesn't take away from the experience. It kind of adds to it. I know 3D was a big gimmicky, stereoscopic 3D especially. Uh, this doesn't do 3D. 3D kind of comes out at you. This sort of goes into the device, if that makes sense, and I think it works really well, at least on first blush. Obviously, I'll use the phone for a while uh, and see if uh, you know that comes to fruition or not. Uh, so the other big feature I mentioned is Firefly. Let me go ahead and show you uh, what that can do. So again, we'll jump on over. We'll go into my app, so we'll launch Firefly. You can also launch it uh, with the button on the side. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna sort of do a kind of a cool glitter effect and it'll let you purchase all kinds of things. So we'll go ahead and click on Firefly. I'll bring in something I hope it'll recognize here, like the Firebox. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit OK. It starts to do a little, uh, a little bit of glittery there on the phone. You guys can't see it. Let me try and get that. And I already recognized the Fire phone right there. You can go ahead and jump right into Amazon uh, and buy it. Let's bring in some other stuff, just out of curiosity. Let's bring in some, uh, an old classic, for example. Here we got uh, Mario Kart 64. And it found it, and it found it really fast. Uh, so Firefly is really another way to get Amazon to uh, sell you things, and it works very quickly uh, and definitely as advertised. So this has been a real quick first look here uh, at the Amazon Fire Phone. Of course, I'll run through everything in the full review. We'll do some hands-on uh, with everything else, but uh, a very nicely packaged device, and certainly Amazon's first foray uh, into the smartphone world. Anything in particular you guys want to see, though, be sure to let us know in the comments down below. Until next time, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. You'll be the first ones to know when new videos come up. We have a ton of stuff. We do unboxings, we do hands-on, reviews, cars, and everything in between that has to do with consumer electronics. We'd love to have you stick around.